Hadouken! What's good people? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please do subscribe down below. Smash the like, hit the bell, those things help out a lot. YouTube does notify people when we upload, so just make sure you hit that button. Well, anyway guys, today we got a dope episode for you. It's all about deep water culture systems. The pros and the cons. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Because a lot of people wonder, should I get into it? Plants grow so much faster with it. Get huge yields. Maybe I should give it a try. But there are a lot of pros, but there are some cons. So we're going to just chat about it and figure out maybe it's something you should give a try. Because a lot of people have been doing it and getting fantastic results. And truth be told, some novice gardeners might be intimidated by trying a DWC system. But it's actually pretty friggin' easy and I'm gonna offer some insight into the pros and cons of using this fast growing propagation method. Perfect. So smash the like for that and let's get into today's episode. Yes, guys. Now, DWC, deep water culture, it's a hydroponic cultivation method in which the roots stay submerged in the culture of aerated water and nutrients. As the plants uptake water and absorb nutrients, they also excrete some wastes and the water should be changed as needed once per week at minimum. Topping off the water culture with a fresh mix of nutrients will suffice, but the best practices include emptying out the old stuff first to replenish the root mass with a fresh mix of water and nutrients. Now be sure to adjust the pH to a range of 5.5 to 6.5 depending on the variety being cultivated and the stage of growth of the plants. DWC Hydro Gardeners, you will see a noticeable difference in accelerated growth rate and overall results. When the root environment is correctly turned on, DWC systems offer low maintenance, simple low cost setup and explosive root growth that supports the large plant production. These are great benefits considering it as a simple method and a great introduction into hydro. Now pro tip guys, temperature is key with DWC. With DWC grows utilize a full container of water to arrange that garden. You can use buckets as well and that's pretty standard in the DWC game. These containers can be independent and stand alone or be connected in a recirculating deep water culture or RDWC. Both scenarios can flood so proper care needs to be used to prevent damage to the property. I've heard of situations where there have been some really scary stories. So Gotta keep your stuff in check. Keep all electrical cords and connections raised off of the floor. Mount them on a wall or hang them. Just don't leave them on the floor where leaks and spills can occur. If you're using an interconnected RDWC system, be sure that the connections are properly sealed using gaskets and bulkheads or other drip-proof plumbing connectors. Drip-proof plumbing connectors. Wow, that's a mouthful. Drip-proof plumbing connectors. Say that four times fast. Perfect. Now high summer temperatures can cause problems for any grow room, especially DWC setups where buckets or tubs of water will heat up and become a thermal mass. That's a breeding ground for pathogens, funguses, and dead roots. By the way, I don't think funguses is a word. I think it's fungi. Yeah. Temperature is key with DWC. Winters are more forgiving for DWC, so just make sure you maintain the water temperatures above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Another pro tip, guys, roots don't like a lot of light, so make sure that your bucket or your container is completely sealed and light proof. Using a lid to keep that light out will prevent algae and other unwanted growth. In the summer when things get warm, make sure to watch out for root rot. That can occur when water temperatures remain above 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Pathogens and bad biology thrive in warmer water. Typically, water temperatures run about 10 degrees cooler than room temperatures, so gauge the health of your DWC system by measuring your ambient room temperature. You can start with proper grow room heating and cooling, and if average temperatures remain above 75 degrees Fahrenheit, additional cooling may be needed. So consider adding a water chiller to the reservoir if necessary. I've heard of growers using buckets of ice and throwing frozen water bottles in there and changing them out. Now, DWC systems can sound complicated, but starting a deep water culture system is actually not not that hard. Getting started with DWC is perhaps one of the simplest hydrophonic setups there is. All it takes is a bucket, a lid with a hole that you drill to fit a net pot, some air stones and an air pump. That's it. That's literally it. And some water. Don't forget the water. Now when it comes to medium, a lot of hydro growers use hydro turn, coco core, rockwell cubes, and even perlite. You want the water level to just barely touch the bottom of the net pot, just enough to wet that grow medium. Once the roots spread, lower the water level a bit further below the net pot to allow the suspended roots to hang. The upper section of the bucket, although not filled by water, is an extremely humid environment and will form a spider web of root growth to drink the humidity from the air. Think of that. It's crazy cool. Ever seen a really dope one? It's crazy. Bruh. 
strong tap roots will grow towards the bottom of the bucket and constantly drink that aerated nutrients from the water. With hydronutrients, the elements are chelated with the proper ionic charge for immediate absorption. So your DWC bucket pretty much becomes a nutrient factory on tap, which can skyrocket that plant growth. So as you guys can see, there are a lot of benefits when it comes to DWC setups. Accelerated growth, accelerated yields, heavier yields, aerated roots improves the plant's absorption to increase cell growth rate improves but it is a little bit less forgiving but the good thing is you can dump out the bucket of nutrients and you can just fill a new one but all that said dwc environmental controls are super important to properly thrive using any grow method environmental control is key keep your garden temperatures between 60 to 85 degrees fahrenheit you want to target like 70 to 75 degrees fahrenheit that'll keep the water temperatures in the correct range for the roots and the plants to grow vigorously while keeping away the pathogens and bio that can negatively affect them. DWC and RDWC are important methods for any hydro garden. If you can provide these essentials to your plants, you can get maximum yields with minimal effort. Don't be intimidated as this simple method can be set up with ease. Keep the water culture well aerated and maintain a pH of about 5.5 to 6.5. Try to keep ambient room temperatures in range between 65 degrees to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a really simple method that you can learn and enjoy the benefits of. So smash the freaking like button for that guys. Don't forget to hit the bell, but wait. This video is brought to you by Mars Hydro, where they have a variety of grow lights and grow tents for growers of all experience levels. Whether you're a small home grower or setting up a slightly bigger commercial operation, they have the tents and lights for you. They have tents for every space and need, including the new 2-in-1 tents. And they also have a wide variety of lights to choose from, including full-spectrum LED and the new detachable FCE series. Links to all of the products that we use on this channel, including the Mars Hydro Grow Lights, are in the description below. Be sure to use the links below to support the ICANTHC channel. You can also save a few bucks on the Mars Hydro website by using the code ICANTHC at checkout for store-wide savings. Don't forget to use the code and save yourself a few bucks. Now, back to the video. Check out this video right here, and this video right here, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace fam!